more intellectual than I am. And not even that, let's just have an intellectual conversation. One thing I was given is the game, and you know that. But I know that's hard to talk. Yeah, it's hard to come by by a bunch of people because they know I really come from that. Joe, you just want to move on to somebody else? No, man, I'm 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 just here listening. Well, I like to talk ain't about that, the present system. Ain't, ain't that much to listen to, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> It's just us having a conversation. And it's a light conversation because we ain't talking about shit. Well, then, you want to start a conversation? Why don't you ask Joe something? Y'all can ping pong off each other. No, I was asking him. He the interviewee. I ain't never did no podcast and got to talking about niggas. He did that, though. I was challenging I mean, him. I was challenging him to do that to me. Jay, you low key can have your own podcast. Though, yeah, it's cool. I know what real. I I know what I'm capable of. I'm talking <laughs> You've been about podcasting he, all night. I know, for I real. know what he. I know what he. I know what he already did. I know what's transpired already. Therefore, I want to see if he can reciprocate that same energy to me. Because I know what he's done to others already. I want to see him reciprocate that same energy to me. Junior answered all his boy questions. And what if he can't re give you that same shit? Shit, tell him to say that and we can keep on moving. He can move on and ask somebody else a question. I know how he like to, yeah, go with his wiggle on other niggas, go with his wiggle on me. So, we, so this is the question game in here. This is the what? So y'all were playing the question game in here? No, nah, it's your question game in here. I don't have any questions. How, how this shit started based upon you? Oh, I don't have any questions. The, the, the question is, do you have a question to ask Junior? No. Because I see that you reciprocate negative energy to certain individuals. I wanted to see if you can reciprocate that energy to me. And we just can have an intellectual conversation. You talk to a bunch of dummies. And I don't want to discredit any niggas. But you talk to a bunch of niggas who don't know how to speak. And can articulate themselves in the right manner to deliver the right message. But can you do that with a man who can decipher himself in the proper manner? Can you have a conversation with a guy who can exemplify himself in the way he need to be exemplified instead of the manner that you try to portray him. Jay, I can have any conversation with any man. Then have a conversation with me. I, I do not think that I run around spewing negativity the way that it sounds like you think. <laughs> I don't think that at all, actually. Okay, I understand. I I understand your message then. But you know what you've done. You brought people in your room that you had a problem with and you had something bad to say about. And you've spoken on what you had bad to say about them while they were in your presence. I don't know if you would have did that in real life. You might have. You might not have. I don't. Jay, know. when you say my room, you mean on Clubhouse? No, I don't give a fuck about no Clubhouse. Clubhouse ain't got shit to do with nothing. We talking about real life. We talking about yo podcasts and all this other shit. We ain't talking about no Clubhouse. Clubhouse ain't shit. I just got on here. This club. I just got on here four days ago. Like this shit don't mean nothing to me. Now, it, I understand it's becoming a big platform. But this shit don't mean nothing to me. What I'm asking you is, the same energy that you transpire, the people that come on your podcast, 
and different channels that you have leverage on that you are yeah bet on jay i don't interview people on on my podcast yeah you don't interview them but you got a bunch to say about them You'll well, yeah, tell that's, some, that's, you'll that's tell a somebody when you tell somebody when you don't like them. You tell, make. I don't watch enough of them, Joe. I don't watch enough of them. I just seen you disrespect a bunch of guys, rightfully so or uh, unrightfully so. You did. I don't know if y'all had personal issues before they got on your shit. I have no idea. I just know what's transpired. I know what you did when they got there. There's a, I know what you did when they got there. So I don't know if it was for personal meanings, means or podcast means, podcast means, whatever. You do what I'm saying? I don't know which one it was for. I just know it transpired. And you had to let it be known that it was this and it was that when ain't nobody bring you that energy. Ain't nobody bring that energy to you initially. But you had to let it be known at that time that you brought the energy to them. What what time frame is this? You said what time frame? Yeah, because it sounds like you're speaking about something specific, and I don't know. No, nah, I'm just I'm speaking on a bunch of different situations. And it's a bunch of people in here that can tell you that anybody know what I'm talking about. You just talk a lot of shit. I know a million of them. Like you say, we watch this shit all the time. Like old girl said, Migos. Migos, the Yachty interview was pretty bad. You kind of, with the whole, um, what's it called? The 360 deal shit that you put on them. Yeah. Nah, Joe, I got a question for you. It's a bunch of them. Y'all feel like that them. was bad? It wasn't bad, but you definitely challenged him in a way where you could tell he wasn't ready for it. And yeah, Yachty's a little younger, and it's, but it's and just it. like your maturity that he wasn't ready for. He wasn't ready for the questions that you asked. He wasn't ready for the Joe, pressure you be, that you applied. You be, you be pressing niggas that ain't ready to be pressed. And you guys you, are in the you same You let it be experience. known that you got situations with guys. They ain't even know they had a situation with you, but you just stand on it. Nah, I don't think that's like, my energy. I'm, I'm, te I'm telling you what's transpired. You might not think that's what you displaying, but we telling you what you displaying. Well, I wouldn't say it, it's displayed like that, but it's definitely like from that's a cool. more that's like your, a that's wider. That's your perspective. Let everybody else speak too, because there's a bunch of other people that can say some other shit. Hey, I Junior, I, what, Junior, what, Junior, what I, get, Junior, get I ain't gonna lie. He, 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 he didn't be, he ain't did nothing. Like on his podcast, I listened to him. He ain't did nothing but show, show respect to, to, to all the vibes. So I don't know. I, I understand your perspective. I've been told you to exit the building. Damn. That is my perspective too, though. And I think if we speak to Lil Yachty or any of the people that, Y'all think that type of interview went that way? Like today, Yachty would say he appreciates that. He appreciated that back then. Yeah, I think about all the people that you told, I don't like you. I don't I'll like y'all. Good publicity. I ain't fucking with your music. Like, you know, you, you understand how many times you done said this shit on multiple occasions. So why not send that? I don't, yeah, but I don't, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's personal. I mean, like, if you, so you if you invite if you if you invite somebody to your platform and then disrespect them, it's it's personal. So Complex with his platform. What the fuck? So I mean that picking, because you know who names. coming and you know you don't like them already. So regardless of if somebody else line that platform up, you know what's transpiring with that platform. Yo, the only the, the I'm only talking about this Yachty interview because that's the one that stands out. In this type of conversation, I mean, it's, it's it's all good. Don't worry about it. I ain't worried about it. And that was my very yeah, first yeah. interview, by the way. Hey, Joe. Publicity sales, man. We know that. But guess what, Mom? 
you know I'm a nigga. You know I'm a nigga. They ain't looking for no publicity because I don't get paid for them. Exactly. So this shit don't mean nothing to me. You know it don't mean nothing to me. I just want somebody to tell me how they feel and and be real about it and stand on it. I don't care about none of that publicity shit. This shit don't mean nothing to me. That's for everybody else, for the birds. So we let them stand on that or not stand on it. Joe, it's all good. I know why yeah. I used to pick on them kids at school about their shoes because everybody else did. They thought it was funny. Joe, that ain't why you pick at uh, these artists sometimes. Nah, man. I, and I don't I don't look at it as picking on artists. I don't. I look at it as, as I look at it. I look at it as as us outside of critique and just giving information and funneling information that wasn't readily available to me when I came in. There's a lot of ways to do that. Yeah, I, I understand that perspective, Joe. Like I understand that. It's oh, not. It's, it's never to disrespect niggas. It's certain shit I won't even touch on on my platform. Like I run my shit very differently than how hip hop media is ran. Like it's not to play with niggas. It's not. And I don't have people on my platform, my podcast, that I wouldn't that I wouldn't fuck with in real life or have a conversation with in real life. It's, I'm not, you I'm not dis, in, you didn't you didn't disrespected a bunch of niggas on your platform though. I don't watch this. But I'm saying what? that I don't think talking about a nigga's music negatively is disrespecting them personally. You ain't had to bring me to your platform to do that. So it is negatively when you try to put me on the forefront to do so. You could have called my phone and gave me constructive criticism rather than put me on the internet for everybody to see this. It's a difference. And you are older, nigga, so you should know that. You should know that you should call, you could call the little homies and let them know, hey, man, this ain't what's transpiring, rather than trying to put them on a platform where everybody can hear it for you to give your message. You could have gave him a message in a hundred di different other ways. I guess I'm talking to myself now, right? Nah, yo, yo, that kind of makes sense what you're saying, though. No, um, nigga, it do make sense. How you going to say it kind of do? Kind of makes sense, but at the same token, he, 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 but hey, look, hey, but man. Junior, hey, he media, hey, hey. he media, he media, though. So he got to talk about things that drop. You feel me? That's cool. He media. Be but he media know where he right come way. from, so he got to be held accountable. Be media the right way. Why the fuck you feel like you need to speak on everything that I say for him? <laughs> Not really. I'm just having a conversation. That's cool. We can have a conversation. Just chill, though. You ain't got to respond to everything I say, though, because that's what you've been doing. Let him speak for himself. And I'll be quiet too. <laughs> yeah, no, I just never, I never looked at it that way, to be honest with you. What other way is it to look at it though, Joe? Uh, <laughs> like I just said. Running the pod, running the podcast, and critiquing music without it all, uh, without it being a personal shot at nobody that you're critiquing. But you got to understand that nigga, everybody got emotions and everybody got feelings, right? Because everybody man. So if you want to criticize me in public, why you can't criticize me in private? Nah. No, I, criti I criticize I criticize my friends and the people I love and care about in private and in public. Like that's a courtesy. Are you I, saying ain't, I ain't never heard you criticize your wife in public? That's somebody you care about. You criticize her in public. And that's no disrespect. 
I'm not married. Are you talking about my son's mom? I'm talking about your girlfriend and anybody else. I never heard you criticize them in public other than on TV where you got recognition for that too. I have a long time ago when I was a little immature. I tend not to move that way at 40. Exactly. So uh, I'm saying, why are you moving like that with youngsters? Because we older. Why are you moving like that with youngsters? My, my stance is I don't. Your stand, my stance is that you do. You won't, you won't, you won't criticize somebody that you can give constructive criticism behind closed doors where it might actually be a, a positive influence in their life. You rather give it to them in public and it be a negative influence in their life. And then you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with, and they gotta deal with what they gotta deal with. Now it's a problem. Now you created an animosity that it didn't need to be created because you could have seen the said the same thing that you said in public behind closed doors and then would have gave them more meaning. So therefore, if you want to give your your audience meaning, if you want to really be beneficial to your audience, if you really want to give your audience direction, do you understand that if you give them that in a different platform and then have a different conversation with them on another platform, that you'll get way further than what it is that you're getting based upon trying to belittle somebody publicly. But, Jay, I, I speak to mad of these young niggas uh, off platform, personally. Um, advice, kick it with them. Like, that happens. I mean, that's, that's the guys that we don't know about, though. We talking about the ones that we do. So you might talk to a bunch of niggas the same way I say I could say I talk to a bunch of niggas, but don't nobody know the niggas I'm talking to. When we have an opportunity to talk to influencers, though, the guys that I ha actually have a chance of coming up, the guys that are in position or have been in position to come up, let's give them constructive criticism rather than belittling them and making them something less than they are, let's give them the criticism they need behind closed doors. And then when we had this, these interviews, let's give them the, in, the criticism that they need. I agree with that. You do, you do shit to be funny. You do shit to get fused. Jay, that I'm the you last, do. Listen, I'm to me. The Listen to me. Listen to me. Media person that does Man, that's cool, but views. you do shit. You do shit for views. And I don't respect that. Jay, I can assure you. You do, you you do, do shit to give views. you do shit to get views. You speak on certain contexts and you speak on certain situations so people can laugh at certain people and certain people can feel discredited about whatever it is that they're doing based upon what you said. Well, you could have had that same conversation with this youngster behind closed doors and uplifted him. And then came back and got the same notoriety that you wanted from down plan them, that you could have got right here on your show. Jay, I don't do shit for views and I don't downplay niggas to Man, get up. Hey, hey, Joe, I don't, I don't want to disrespect you and I don't want you to disrespect me because you ain't never disrespect none. Of, you ain't never took a deal with none of them young niggas. So I don't expect you to take a deal with me. You did, but this is the thing, nigga. You done a lot to discredit people and uh, say what you had to say about certain artists and shit like that. I think he's just a very honest person. <laughs> he's just a blunt person. Nigga, this shit don't matter. We are blatant, blunt, and honest. That's what we are. That's what we stand on. We all that. Tell him to tell you that he don't think I'm that. We both that. It's the time and the place for everything. I never take my blatancy and my honesty to try to uplift myself based upon another nigga's transgression. He capitalized on people bullshit. He'll say that he feel like this, this, and that about a nigga. 
Well, he ain't got to say that. He could have went, went and whispered in his young nigga ear because he an older nigga. You know what I'm saying? He has respect in the game. The same thing that he said, well, nah, not even the same thing. He could have whispered something else in this young guy ear on this podcast or anything else, and it would have had a lot more understanding and him creating beef by saying some bullshit and what he said in this podcast. He could have put that nigga to the side and gave him some game. The same way we do. He could have put him to the side, whispered in his ear and be like, hey, nigga, you can do this. Instead of going on here, man, I don't like your music. Da, 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 da. Now tell a nigga how he can progress. Tell somebody how they can be better. Tell them if they do this, you feel like they can make more money for their family. Don't come in this motherfucker and telling somebody ain't creating no drama. He just ain't created drama with the right people. This is all. I got a question for Joe. Why did you retire rapping? Didn't love it anymore. That's all? There's nothing more to it? <laughs> Joe, you gotta yeah. get out of here with all these dry answers. Come on, give us something. But but he giving people advice on how to rap. Well, Joe is a lyricist, though. Hey, Joe, can you freestyle? In his in his own manner. And there ain't no discredit to the accomplishments that he made, because I know he a GOAT. In his own manner. He a GOAT in his own manner. But don't discredit the other goats just because you don't believe in them. Just because you ain't feeling them. Pull them to the side and give them some advice if you feel like just you need to give them some advice. Jay, I agree with everything you're saying. <laughs> I agree. But why did you do differently? Answer that. You agree with me, but why did you do differently? Well, Jay, when I tell you that I have relationships with these kids and speak to them off platform, you say nobody knows about it. When I say I mean, to you, it's, it's when cool. I say to I know you, that you I'm know trying you to give them some information. Hey, Joe, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna discredit you because I know you speaking true when you say that, but it ain't all of them. So the ones that you ain't got relationships with and that you talking to like that and the ones who get the rebuttaling back to you, y'all create other situations that don't need to transpire between grown-ups and kids. I, I, I agree with that, which is why I think I'm one of the older niggas that's on the right side of the generation gap building. Like, I'm not hating on none of these young niggas. But you have. I think that Yachty interview and that Migos situation is the only one we could really point to on this. It don't matter. You have. Oh, I have, and, and I rectified it. How you rectify hating? <laughs> By apologizing. By saying you were wrong. Yeah. That's what he just so, said. So you were wrong. Yeah, I've had that conversation with Yachty and Quavo. Now I'm just having and... that conversation with you now. Now you got to have it with me. I had that talk with them. Yeah. A man can say when he's wrong. Of course. We all got to stand on what we stand on. If we say something, we got to stand for it. 100%. And I don't think that's happened again since then. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna speak on something that I ain't certain about. I'm loving this open dialogue though. I have no, another this, question this for you. This, Joe. this kind of real dialogue. Joe, are you um are you still cool with Slaughterhouse? Mm-hmm. It's my brother. Okay, that was all. <laughs>
thought you go more deeper into it. I have a question. So what do you feel, Joe, that um, you have any, given the platform you have, do you feel like you have any influence on the things that you say and how people um, look at, you know, I don't know how to word it right the now. Way, the way that he shrews his message. Yes, I have a, please, I have a response. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a responsibility on on that platform to just do what I feel is right and say what I feel is right. So yeah, there is some influence that comes with it, but nah, it's my responsibility to make sure fuck shit is not just said for the sake of saying it. That's where I disagreed with what Jay was saying. A lot of these niggas do things for views and it's it's like blatant. Nigga, obvious. this is what you did. You did it. No, I was really I was really angered in that moment. This cool, I wasn't this doing cool, but why are you angry at kids? How can you be angry at somebody who made a mistake that you made too? No, I wasn't I was I wasn't angry at I'm kids. I'm saying you just said you was angry at kids. That's what you just said. No, I said I was angry in the moment, but I wasn't okay, angry. Okay, so kids. you angry. I'm not angry at kids. You angry? That's my that's my perspective. You angry? So you being angry, what? It allows you to be irrational. When when you don't want to be somewhere, you kind of remove yourself. That's that's what I did. You could have removed yourself from everything instead of saying anything at all. You chose to say something. You chose to go out your way and say something when you could just remove yourself from kid business because they ain't got nothing to do with your era or your time. So why speak on something that has nothing to do with you? That was the question. Why speak on something that has nothing to do with you or your era? Because that's what's happening at the time, right? Yeah. And I understand that respectfully. You speaking on something that can make you relevant at the time. No. Yeah, this is that's the only thing. Why else why else speak on somebody else's business? I don't speak on nobody's business if it ain't got nothing to do with mine. Same thing. But you chose you chose to go out your way and speak on somebody else's business. Jazz, I talk about hip hop. No, this this junior. This junior. Junior, I talk about hip hop and music and culture for no other reason than I love it. I mean, I understand it. We all love it. We all come up under it. It's it's not I've been I've been in this game. I've been I've been in this game as long as you've been in it, because I was a child when I got in it, when you was in it. Except I've been in it longer than you because we still relevant now. So it ain't no disrespect to you. It ain't no taking no nothing away from you. It's just goddamn. We don't have to implement ourselves in bullshit when bullshit doesn't transpire to us. That's a fact. If it ain't a part of us, we ain't got to implement ourselves in it. When we put ourselves in bullshit and we ain't a part of the bullshit, it's like we're looking for attention. I get it. That was four years ago. Nigga, it don't matter. Okay, that's cool. I understand. I was just speaking on what I was speaking on. I understand. You're right. It's all good, my brother. So I just no that. Pro- I don't want no prizes and I don't want no smoke with this situation. Ain't nobody say nothing about us. So it's out of their mouth. But so I, I just have a anybody we do business with or we have business dealings with, it's like speaking on us too. So for future references. Yeah. I ain't got to say too much. Oh, nigga, Joey, what up, bro? Who was that talking? Be Jack. Who? DJ. Which DJ? Nigga, the 